Uh huh. I sure will. Good morning, everybody. <coughs> Excuse me. You are listening to the voice. Come on, dig me now. <laughs> One and only Steve Harvey got a radio show. Man, oh man, oh man. Something going on real good today. You ought to feel blessed today. The fact that God woke you up and gave you another opportunity. You know, every day you wake up is another chance. It's a chance for all of us to get better, to get it right, to get on the right path, to stop heading the wrong way. Every day you wake up, that's your opportunity. See, because he's going to keep waking you up because he has a plan for you. You know, I don't know, uh, you know, uh, I don't, I don't. I don't know when he makes his call and, 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 you know, who gets called home when. I can't explain it. I don't have that answer. I'm not him. I'm not God. I don't claim to be. I don't, I don't understand it all sometimes. But God has an amazing way. But as long as he's waking you up, I do know this. God ain't through with you yet. God has a plan for you. Your job is to identify, identify the plan. You know, that's that's clearly what I need for you to do. You know, um, oftentimes the thing that you're looking for, it's right there inside of you. You know, I, I can't tell you how many people I meet. Uh, Mr. Harvey, Mr. Harvey, can I speak to you for a minute? Yeah, man, what, what's up with you? Um, man, I was just wondering, man, I've been trying to, and I wanted to know, man, can you give me a good agent? Can you give me a good uh, lawyer? Can you give me a good... Now, look, if you got some legal problems, I understand you're going to need some help right there. But the majority of questions I get asked is about their future, about their place in this world, about their mission, about what they're trying to do, how they're trying to figure out, and then the how to go about doing it. But the answer, I must remind all of you, is always within yourself. It starts right there. See, a lot of people burn up a lot of time looking around trying to find someone, if I could just meet them, if I could just get on her show, man, if all, if I could just get to his show, I'd be the made it. That's not, that's not necessarily the case because see, just like every time you put your, put your uh, faith in a person or an event or occurrence or or some type of thing that you imagine yourself being in there, and that'll do it for you. Imagine of all the people who've made it without. You know, I look at everybody and tell me, man, if I could get on so-and-so's show, that'll do it for me, man. Somebody else got on that show and they blew up. Man, if I could just make it to that show. Do you know how many people have made it without that? So see, when you start focusing in on what your idea of how to make it is and your idea of how to make it does not include your relationship with God, you're spinning your wheels. Man, it's a vicious cycle you in now. And I'm asking everybody to get out of that cycle. Get out of looking for someone and something. The answer is within you. God resides in you. That burning thing that you have that you just can't get out your head, that's a seed. God planted that there. That's a seed. It needs watering, nurturing, fertilizing. That's what it needs. It it didn't it don't ever say, man, I need that other person right there. Now, there are people you will meet that will compliment you, and I can assure you that God will put you in the right place at the right time. I'm almost certain that God will introduce you to everybody you need to be introduced to to make it to wherever it is you all are trying to get to. I'm talking about you and God now. But the moment you take it into your own hands and you make the decision as to who you got to get to, you've just clouded and muddied the waters see god's plan for you don't really need your help Uh uh-oh it needs your attention it needs your focus it needs your faith and it needs your hard work but he needs you to listen he needs you to listen more than anything listen keep the faith and be willing to work your tail off i don't know how you think it can happen any other way But then again, I do because I tried to make it another way. So I had to come to the conclusion. Hey, man, listen here, dog, this ain't working for you. You got to get some more God here, man. Listen to me. The answer was always within me. The, The moment I sat down with myself and told myself the truth that, hey, partner, you ain't really all that. Hey, partner, regardless as to what people are seeing and stuff, you ain't happy. 
Hey, partner, this really ain't about you. Hey, partner, you really ain't all that good at this. God is keeping you for a reason. Okay, hold up, Steve. Quit tripping. What I need to do. I just started talking to myself, and then I heard uh, Bishop Jakes say a couple of things. Then I was watching TV. I heard Joel Osteen say a couple of things. And I went, wow, man. Okay, cool. That's pretty slick. I'm going to try that. And when I did it, it changed my life. I am telling you, man, it has been God this whole time. And the God has been residing inside of me just like the God resides on the inside of you. That's him talking to you, telling you, man, you ought to get it together. Man, making you feel bad. It's sending you on guilt trips. You knowing you wrong. You out there wrong. And something telling you you ought not do it. Here's how you know it's God. And Bishop Ulmer taught me this in his book. He's got, um, I can't think of the name of it right now, but it's a really good book. But it says in there, man, Bishop Ulmer was talking in this book. And he was saying, the way you know it's not God's voice is if it, it ain't no sin in it. See, how many times have you made up in your mind, I'm going to show this person or I'm going to show that person or I'm going to get this person back. You hurt me, I'm going to hurt you. You know, the Lord don't like ugly, I'll show you. Well, the Lord don't like ugly, but nowhere in that does it say for you to go show them. It doesn't say that. See, so when you strike out on that mission, you know, um, the God knows in my heart I loved you, but I got to do this because you did me wrong. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ain't got nothing to do with God right there. You can take him out of it. If it's God has no sin in it. So anytime somebody come to me talking about the Lord told me to do this to you and that's the only reason I'm doing it. You need to get yourself right with God. I heard all them threats right there. That ain't God talking to me through you. What are you crazy? If it's God, it has no sin in it. So you got to be careful, man, when you're talking to people. We're going to go down here and we're going to do this because this is the right thing to do. If it has something wrong going on, then it can't be the right thing to do. Took me a minute to learn that one. But please get that through your head so you can quit spinning yourself around. And remember, everything you're looking for is within you. It's all right there. Quit wasting your time looking around all the time. Go to your God, man. Talk to him. Go to that spirit that's on the inside of you that's calling you. Stop letting people shake your tree. At the end of the day, somebody going to be right, somebody going to be wrong. All right, y'all. We're going to have a good one today. Tripping a little bit. Going through something. From the executive producers of Hell and Gone comes a new podcast investigating the serial murders orchestrated by South African cult leader Cecilia Stein. She conditioned them to be monsters. In the world of murderous cults, if Charles Manson is king, Cecilia Stein is queen. She was telling people the Bible says she must go and kill, but actually she was taking revenge. Listen to Queen Havoc and her murder cult on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. I'm Israel Gutierrez. I'm hosting a new podcast called Four Years of Heat. It takes you to Miami from 2010 to 2014, when LeBron James, Chris Bosh, and Dwayne Wade set the NBA ablaze. You know, have an opportunity to team up with the best trio to ever play the game of basketball. We'll take you inside those four monumental years with behind-the-scenes access and insight about one of the greatest teams ever assembled. Four years of heat on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. Last season, millions tuned into the Betrayal podcast to hear a shocking story of deception. I'm Andrea Gunning, and now we're sharing an all-new story of betrayal. Ashley Litton was helping her husband set up a business Venmo account when she discovered a terrible secret. I saw a hidden folder, and I opened it. What the hell did I just see? Listen to season two of Betrayal on the iHeartRadio app, Apple Podcasts, or wherever you get your podcasts. 